Hi, today we are going to see cluster of Rainer to check cervical radiculopathy or neck pain radiating down to the hand and the arm. Cluster of Rainer from 2003 has four different tests. In this video, we will be showing each of the tests to check for cervical radiculopathy. first test to be performed in cluster of Wiener is upper limb tension test which has a sensitivity of 97% and specificity of 22%. To perform this test have your patient lie supine with arm 110 degree abduction, arm rotated externally, forearm supinated and wrist into extension. Press onto the shoulder girdle and bend and extend the elbow as shown in the video. Then ask your patient to contralaterally bend the neck, press onto the shoulder girdle and perform the elbow extension one more time. Any familiar symptoms like numbness or tingling in the affected arm is a positive test. The second test performed in cluster of winner is neck rotation test. Have your patient rotate the neck on the unaffected side first and then to the affected side. A neck rotation less than 60 degree is considered to be a positive test. The neck rotation test has a high sensitivity of 89% and a specificity of 49%. On a healthy individual, an average neck rotation is around 80 degrees. The next test to be performed is the spurling test. Have the patient side bend the neck and extend on the same side of the affected arm. Press the head with a 7 kilo of compression and see if the symptoms come in the same side of the arm. A positive test is the numbness or tingling on the left hand side in this case. This test has a low sensitivity of 50% and a high specificity of 86%. The last test performed is the traction distraction test. To perform this test, have the hands hooked under the head or the occiput and then longitudinally pull the head towards you hold that for at least 20 to 30 seconds a reduction in the symptoms is the positive test this test makes sense if the radiating pain is reduced this test has a low sensitivity of 44 percent and a high specificity of 90%. To confirm the diagnosis of cervical radiculopathy, three positive tests out of four gives a positive likelihood ratio of 6.1 and four positive tests out of four gives a positive likelihood ratio of 30.3. Even though this test has some shortcomings, there is a moderate clinical value. For more updates on evidence-based assessment and treatment techniques, Please stay tuned.